What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this project, we're gonna build out these four buttons to log in with social media in this login form in Gatsby slash React with a little help from React Bootstrap. And we're getting started right now. All right, so for this project, I am working in React slash Gatsby. Now, a couple of things I do have installed. One, I've previously installed React Bootstrap is we're gonna use piece from the classic vanilla bootstrap on our project to space out our social media icons. If you want a copy of this template that I'm using, you're welcome to download it in the description below. You're welcome to use that as a guide to go forward with. So I'm using React Bootstrap in addition to this project in Gatsby. So after this step, we have this email, we have our password and login. What I next want to do is import the social media icons. And we get those icons from we're going to say react awesome react font awesome so if you do a quick google search for react font awesome at the very top at least of my google search we'll find react font awesome it's the same page so i'll just close it and now what i have to do is come down to getting started and to copy this npm first three components i'm going to copy this i'll stop my development server and I'll paste in the three components. We're gonna do three steps. We're gonna do the NPMs at the top, we're gonna to do the yarns in the middle, and then the third step, which is the most critical, we're gonna bring in the brand icons because we're gonna use the brands to click on for our social media icons. And it's just about done. Hopefully it's almost there. The magic of television is that it's, oh, there we go. So this next one will take a little bit longer. I find the yarns take a little bit longer than the NPMs. So I copied yarn. It will also tell me that it's not advisable to mix up dependencies and I'm very aware. I'm gonna grab the package lock.json and tag it to the trash. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when this is done installing. And it's done installing. So the last step I have to do is then add the additional styles of the brand icons by copying this piece and I'll paste them in. And now this brought in all the icons for Font Awesome using the React style. So after this, what I can do now is I can then write my code to bring in the actual icons that I wanna use in this project. So if we come back up, let's first restart my Gatsby develop it server by saying Gatsby develop. If you're running in React, you'll probably do NPM start or something else, depending what you're working in and which React framework you're using. In this case, I am using Gatsby. And just about there, perfect, rock and roll. So what I wanna do is, let me refresh my page, there it is, is I wanna bring in the font awesome icon. So what I have to do here is I'm gonna say import, and I'll open and close the curly brackets, and I'll say from, and this is gonna be if we go back and look at our code, we scroll down the page, using the icons, we have to first bring in the Fort Awesome slash React Font Awesome. I'm gonna copy this one right here, import. And I'll just redrop it in and say import Font Awesome icon from at Fort Awesome React Font Awesome. Now there's two steps to this. If you look back over here, you have to both bring in the Font Awesome icon and whichever icon you wanna use. Now in this case, the free solid SVG icons deals with the coffee cup. That's not what I wanna do. I wanna bring in the Facebook icon first. So if we think about the Facebook icon, let me do a quick search at the top and I'm gonna type in Facebook. So what this will tell me is I wanna use the F for Facebook and in here it says FA Facebook F and this is under the brand's style. So knowing it's under the brand style, I'm gonna bring in the free brands SVG icon pack. So what I'm gonna do is come up here and I'll say import, I usually keep this open and closed for a second, I'll show you why. From, and this is gonna be, if I do the single quotes, I'm looking for the at Fort Awesome, and I'm looking for the free brands SVG icon free brands, SVG icons. Now the power is when this gets loaded in the curly brackets, if I start typing FA and then capital F for Facebook, it automatically pre-populates the possibilities. 
In this case, I want the FA Facebook F, and that corresponds to Font Awesome. FA Facebook F. So knowing that, I can use this in my design. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head down the page. So we head down here, after where it says login, what I wanna do is put a horizontal rule just to separate this design. So what'll happen is, a little line will show up right here. And I'm gonna say P and then class name, I'm gonna say text center. This comes from font, or font awesome. This comes from React Bootstrap. And in there, I'm gonna say, login with social media. And when I save that, now what I get is a section down below that you can log in with social media. What I next wanna do is lay out four buttons. I'm gonna do all the HTML first, and I'm gonna write a couple custom CSS classes that we're gonna write second to officially design this a little stronger than by default. So after the P tag, what I'm gonna say is capital B for button. Now I can use the capital B for button because I've already imported that via React Bootstrap. And that's what that login button kind of shows up right here. So this button, what I'm gonna say is class name. And I'm gonna say equals social icon. We don't have this design yet. I'm gonna type it first and then we'll go into our CSS so we see how it actually works. And then I do wanna colorize this button to the Facebook color. So I'm gonna set a specific class called Facebook in this instance. So the button is right here. So inside the button is going to actually be the font awesome icon, capital F, capital A, capital I. The icon will be icon equals, we're gonna say FA Facebook F in this instance. Now if you take a look at it, it's kind of that rounded button look. That's totally fine for right now. We're gonna go into CSS in a second. Now what I do wanna have happen is I want all these icons centered below login with social media and staggered center. So that way, if I put more or less in, it adjusts to what's available for social media logins. Now we get the power of bootstrap in this equation. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go above the P login with social media, I'm gonna tell you something brand new. I'm gonna say div class name, and we're gonna use the power of flex. What we're gonna do is if we head over, where is this, to get bootstrap, bootstrap flex, flex, that's a good one. I thankfully it caught it. I'm looking for the flex bootstrap five. And what I'm gonna do ultimately with this design is I can import any kind of classes because I'm using a React bootstrap and what I wanna do is I wanna put something in the middle and I want it to justify the content so it displays evenly in the middle. So that's what I wanna do with the flex component. So in here for class name, I'm gonna say D flex to make these things flex. We're gonna say flex row. We're gonna give it a margin bottom of three just to give it some space at the very bottom. And I'm gonna say justify content evenly, I'm gonna space it out appropriately, and I also will use that social media, so we're gonna write that in our code. And if we open and close this, and we bring this in, so we'll cut and paste the button, we need to indent this, and we'll just drop this for a little extra cleanliness. Now you notice it sits right in the middle of the design, as justify content evenly, would do, and of course, there's only one piece of content to distribute evenly. So, so far, so good. Let's stop right here, we're gonna go into our CSS. I'm gonna head over to the custom CSS file, and what I wanna do is, I'm gonna make a couple things. The first is, after the form, and before the media query, I'm gonna say button.socialicon. And in here, I'm gonna say color is gonna be white, to change the actual icon, it already is, but just to make, keep it safe. So I'm gonna say height is gonna be 40 pixels. The width is gonna be 40 pixels to keep it a circle. And what I'm gonna do is say border radius is gonna be 50%. And what that's gonna do 
is make it a beautiful little circle. Perfect. And since we are going to change the color, I am going to say border equals none. And the reason why I use button is even though it's capital over here, where the button says social icon, the actual output of it, if we come back over here, let's do a quick inspect on this design. When it exports out that code, it's actually lowercase button and lowercase button social icon. So it actually will catch it properly in this situation. Let me close this. And so we write the CSS as if it's already lowercased inside our CSS. So the button social icon will work on any button that contains the class social icon. And since we're on the Facebook, let's just do that. Let's say class Facebook and the color I found for Facebook is background color. And this one's going to be four, two, six, seven, B two. And now what I get is a little darker blue to match the Facebook blue. So it's not quite the login color as it is more of the social icon. And we're looking good. We have the Facebook icon. There is a rollover to be had that it does go back to that default kind of blue, which is totally fine. I think about it more in the mobile framework. So you can either take off the hover, or just keep it the way it is. Perfect. We've got the Facebook icon. So let's next add a Twitter icon. So if we head back over to font awesome, if I type in Twitter, now what I get is I want the Twitter icon. And now it's FA Twitter. That's really easy. So what I can do is come up to the top and hit comma FA Twitter. Not Twitch, let's try Twitter. There we go, FA Twitter. And again, if I save it, it's gonna say that it's not actually used yet, which is totally fine. So FA Twitter, I'm gonna just copy and paste the buttons to make it really easy on me. And what I can do then is just paste the button and change FA Facebook to FA Twitter. And we'll change the class name from Facebook to Twitter if I save it, now I have two buttons distributed evenly across this design. If we come up to our CSS, and what we're gonna do is say Twitter, and the color for Twitter I did find, here we go, is background color and pound sign, in this case it's 1DA1F2. And we'll semicolon this, and now we got the Twitter icon, looking pretty good. Let's do Google and Git to round out our social media logins. So in index, what I have to do just to make sure it is correct, I will type in Google. Looking for that Google G, there it is. Sadly, there is no Google Plus, you could ignore all of these, and I guess you could do GPay, but really it's just gonna be Google. So we have FA Google for font awesome Google. So at the very top, I will say FA Google, and there it is, FA Google. I'm gonna copy the button and paste and say FA Google, and then we'll change Twitter to Google. And I'm gonna custom this, because again, it's gonna have that default color back to login. So the custom CSS I found for Google. So under Google, color I was looking at was background color. And we'll do DB44, DB4437. And now what happens is that's the Google color and the last one is black for GitHub. So index, repeat one more time, we will do Git, and we'll use Mr. Icon for GitHub, and it is FA GitHub, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is head back over here, and I will then type FA GitHub, GitHub, there we go. Boom, we got the last one. It's gonna give me a warning, that's totally fine. So I will copy it one more time, and FA GitHub, 
right there. And I will say git for my last class. And for the git, I just hit up here black. So I'm gonna say git background color is going to be just black. Now what I get as a result is a login with social media with the Facebook, Twitter, Google, and Git, and you can either turn off or to keep on the hovers, it doesn't matter to me, as long as they're arranged cleanly, and they are all responsive as the design holds its shape no matter what in my design. If you want more help on designing the login page, I have the video right here for the basics and also more about React Bootstrap. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.